Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure AWS CLI version number 2.17 on Ubuntu 24.04 LDS version. See, I am on Ubuntu machine, then open any web browser, go to Google, then search for AWS CLI download. Click on this AWS CLI command line interface, then click on get started, then select Linux. Then select, see it has selected Linux. So to install, we have to run these commands. So copy the first one, copy it. So click on this copy button. Then open terminal, paste it. Okay, it is copying all. Remove the this one, keep it sudo, use sudo at start and hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. It is just downloading. See total size is 57 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See download is completed. LS. See here we have the AWS CLI. We have to unzip and install. So unzip it. Unzip. Then give the AWS. Give the tab to auto fill. Hit enter. Then we have to run this command that is sudo dot AWS because we have the AWS folder here. See, so give sudo dot forward slash AWS install, then hit enter. See, we have successfully installed. So run this command, verify the version. So paste it, hit enter. See, we have installed AWS CLI latest version that is 2.17 and this is the version of the python ok control l to clear screen now type aws hyphen hyphen version also see we got the same until now we have seen how to download and install aws cli on ubuntu 24.04 now we will see how to configure aws cli so go to web browser then aws console login click on aws management console click on log log back login then select root account then select root user then provide email that you have registered with aws cloud then click on next provide the password of this root account See, this is the console form and I am in the region US East 1 and this is the username, okay, and these are the recently visited AWS services. So, the first step is open, click on services, then search for IAM, click on IAM, then click on users, then click on create user, then provide the name for the user, after schools. I want to create IAM user, then select the custom password, then provide the password for this user. Uncheck this one, that is user must create a new password at next sign in. I don't want to reset, I am ok with this password, then click on next. Not now. now if you want add user to group, you have to select this one. If you want copy permissions of the existing, you have to select this copy permissions radio button but I am going with attach policies directly select this radio button then I am going with administrator access ok then click on next see this is the summary of the user ok click on if you are ok with all the settings click on create user see user is created click on return to user continue click on username now see we have to create the access key because i will show you why we need to have the access key go to the terminal aws configure hit enter see here it is asking aws access key id so click on create access key then select the use case as 
command line interface. Then select this. I understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create an access key. Then click on next. Give the name. It is description tag value. Okay. Click on create access key. See, this is the access key. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. Then we have to provide the secret key. So this is the key. Click on it. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. If you want to download, click on this download csv file. Click on it. See, it has downloaded. You can get the same access key and secret key information from this file. Then click on done. It is done. Okay. See, this is the access key. Okay. If you want to create another access key, you have to click on here. Okay. So now go to next. We have to provide the default region name. Okay. We can get the region names from here. See, I want to use US East one as region name. So I'm giving US hyphen East one. Hit enter. Output format. I am going with JSON. Hit enter. We have successfully configured. Now we will see few examples. First, we will verify list of the IAM users. The AWS IAM list hyphen users. See, I have only one user that is Arthur Schools. If you go to the IAM, go to users. See, we have only one one user. Let us create a user. Create user. Test admin. Then click on create. I am not going to configure or anything. Click on create user. User is created. Now run the same command again. AWS IAM list users. See now we got the another user. In the same way with the AWS CLI, we can also create users. For that, go to here, command line reference. Click on AWS command line reference. Search for IAM user create. See here example IAM create user and username then path. Okay, so we are going to simply create the user without path. Go to the terminal. You the AWS IAM create user then hyphen hyphen user name then give the name for the user. So I am giving user James. Hit enter. It is success. Now verify AWS IAM list users. See new user James is added. Even if you go to IAM users, refresh this button to see the newly created user. See we have created user. If you want to drop user or delete user, then go to the terminal. Q to quit. Control L to clear screen. AWS IAM delete user then provide the username that is james hit enter we have to give the hyphen hyphen username user hyphen name hit enter it is done refresh see user gone we can also verify the same iam aws iam list users see we have only two users the same way if you want to verify the list of EC2 instances, you AWS EC2 describe instances. Hit enter. See, we got the empty because we don't have any EC2 instances. Click on services, click on EC2. See, we don't have EC2 instances. Verify the list of the S3 buckets. Command is AWS S3 API list buckets. Hit enter. Now go to services S3. See, we have the one bucket. See, this is the bucket name and this is the creation date. See, see, it was created on this date. See, we got the same date. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to download, install and configure AWS CLI on Ubuntu 24.04 at this version. Then we have seen few examples of AWS CLI from the Ubuntu 24.04 LDS version. 
for more AWS R. Ubuntu videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.